Good morning, everyone. This is Gary Kay, and I want to pr- thank you for joining me for this special edition, Cedia edition, Cedia education, I should say, edition of Rants and Raves podcast. I'm joined with Samantha Ventura, who is the Senior Vice President of Education and Training for Cedia, the association, the original Cedia. <laughs> Samantha, thanks for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Well, you know, I had to say that because you have to kind of start with that because there's there's still some confusion in the market with regard to Expo. But of course, education relies on Expo, too, because there's a lot of training and education that's always gone in around the show uh, since the beginning. I remember being at the very first show. That's what I spent most of my time doing. The very first show uh, that they ever had was going to classes and the core of CEDIA as an association is education and training. And you run that. So talk about Um, You know, we have obviously we're going to talk about the show coming up in just a few weeks. But first, talk about sort of your role and the key elements of what you do to provide to integrators in the in the industry. Well, first of all, uh, thank you for supporting CD Education even all those years ago. And you're right. There is a a little bit probably for some uh, some confusion still. We are CD the association. And yes, our strategy, our focus, our plan is to further the industry's uh, education and knowledge based on um, best practices and all the things that that make an integrator uh, so knowledgeable and and amazing in the industry. But um, yeah, I mean, we're just so excited at, at CD in general to have this true focus plan of professional development for somebody coming into the industry to start from the very beginning and go all the way up and our pathways that we've developed over the past two years, especially um, now with ending of two brand new certifications, one launching at Expo this year. Um, we're just very, very excited and very proud of it. And of course, then that goes over into the education that we provide at the conference. Um, we have some of the best instructors in the industry, um, some of the most knowledgeable, and that goes for the on-demand and the in-person content. Um, and people walk away from the conference at Expo just being much more knowledgeable, but also having that opportunity to network with people in person that they would not normally have. Um, so it's a very nice uh part of our overall education offerings, whether it's all year long or whether it's at the conference, they mesh nicely with one another. Yeah. And and that's one nice thing is that you do have certifications. So therefore you you can walk away with something that you can put on your LinkedIn profile and also promote, kind of build up your own personal brand with those certifications. Now, and obviously, like like I said, I go to whenever I go to shows, I go to the education because that's the kind of unique thing is you get a chance to actually meet people in person and do these. But you planned ahead of time over a year ago, started with making sure that this content was available online. So regardless of whether they go to the show or not, they're going to be able to get the education you'd normally get at Expo online uh, through the on-demand platform, right? Yes. Uh, we had a little inkling a year ago that you know, we had a really rough time last year and we'd moved everything to on demand. We had no idea that this year was going to be as challenging, to be honest with you. We thought, oh, we'll be back to some, a better sense of normalcy. Um, This year has been very back and forth for so many people. And of course, we fully recognize for people wanting to attend, but not necessarily feeling as comfortable as maybe in the past, that we would need to offer something on demand. So we truly looked at how can we make sure that we're going to have some really good content for people who won't be able to be here in person and for those who do still want to come in person. Um, So we did a really good, um, I would say a half and half, and I'm really proud of the content we have coming in, especially from some of our more seasoned instructors uh, globally, um, not even located in the United States. They've been willing and and able and really excited to provide uh, their knowledge through the online platform. And so we're very, very excited about that. Yeah. And and to take advantage of that, I mean, like you have ongoing education all the time, not just in and around Expo. You can go to cedia.net and click on the certification uh, section of the site. And it kind of tells you sort of gives you a, a blueprint pathway to these different certifications. But at the actual Expo, you get the one off classes that you just don't get year round. But I also know that you're going to kind of do that. You're going to bring that back and do that regionally in addition to the online platform as as we obviously get out of this Uh, COVID mess that we're all kind of part of. Um, But talk about sort of like your plan, like your master plan. You've been there over three years now. I'm sure you had a chance to take a look at where it came from. And, you know, I remember CDA when it was just a group of 50 guys that uh, were coming to the industry. Now we actually have 
uh, you know, we have men and women in the industry. We have a, a much more diverse industry, but we also have uh, elements of the industry that didn't exist before, like this resi Merchel, Merchel stuff that they're talking about for Expo and, and also this multi dwelling residential install. So obviously talk about what your vision is going forward with education. Well, uh, how much time do we have? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I will tell you that it's exciting. Let's start with there. Um, but it also takes buy-in from every person within the industry. And the beauty of CD is, of course, we're global. And that means we have good reach now that we have a fully integrated online learning management system. So we have the academy. So everything we drop in there can be localized. And it has been for the UK and uh, for the EMEA region, and it can have reach. And so we're being, we've been very thoughtful with our plan of what we put in there first. However, when I started three years ago, a little over three years ago, as you mentioned, it became very clear to me that in some ways we were a startup. And what I mean by that is we're changing I'm very passionate about this, trying to change the perspective of what it means to support the professionalism and those coming into the industry, as well as those who are seasoned. That means for our business owners who did not necessarily think about succession planning, did not really understand how expensive it is to have turnover, what it means to have retention. Those are things that I'm really passionate about having this group of really strong integrators who also happen to be business owners understand so that the retention part of the technicians, they're not just a dime a dozen, they come in and then we replace them. That's not the what we want. Additionally, looking at people who want to come into the industry as a brand new technician, this is a viable career opportunity. So we need people also to hire them in, take care of them, keep them, provide them a, a pathway professional development. I can't compete. We can't compete with the CS, the computer science world out there who's doing that for them. So if we want to have them come through, become an integrator, we need to do our best to educate them, but to also offer them a real um, existence within the professional development space of what it looks like to be an integrator moving through the pathways. So really my my goal is to, to do all of that. And with education, that's where we start. And really um, the past few years, just making sure that foundationally we have that brand new um, two pathway really certification process to go through the CIT, IST, get your foundational education finished, come back, do your on your hands-on traditional training with us in our boot camp rooms, and then start looking at where do you want to go next? Do you want to go into audio? Do you want to go into cybersecurity? Do you want to go into, let's be very general, wellness? Then I'm going to tell you, we might not be the end-all be-all for wellness. I may send you off to this, 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 and we may be a contributor at those particular events. So it's also understanding holistically what we can do and maybe what we can't do and partnering with people a little bit better to make sure that we provide the best experience for those in the industry every every step of the way. And that's key because that's the reason why the association exists, not to be everything to everyone, but be sort of like a home page to them where they yes. can go and get information. You, like you mentioned the CIT, the IST, but you also have the ESCN and ESCD certifications. If you want to learn more about that, go to CDA. Dot net. Um, so it's not like one certification, you can go different paths. Um, and there's the continuing education. And of course, all of it will be part of Expo, which will be happening the first week of uh, so actually first, second, third of September. Uh, Samantha, thanks for joining me. And of course, uh, I'll put your LinkedIn link uh, in the description of this video cast because I want people to connect with you because I want them to give you feedback when they have ideas because the the, the key thing is is getting these ideas uh, assimilated and I like what you said about health and wellness because you may not be the experts on health and wellness but you might be the place to start and like hey where do I go to get this information um, as the industry evolves because this industry is evolving quite a bit I mean there and there's also let's let's be honest there's also a movement towards the residential side, getting more into the commercial side, which I think will help the the, ba the balance sheet and keep these companies healthy to do uh, light commercial projects, uh, which don't require the complexity of of uh, you know full commercial integrator. So Absolutely. check that out and uh, all at cedia.net. Now again, Cedia Expo is separate from Cedia, the association. See the association, a nonprofit association designed and around supporting the CE channel, everything that, uh, that if you're an integrator, you're a designer, you're an architect and you're supporting um, smart homes and, and uh, home theaters and, and uh, helping homeowners make their, make their lives at home better. Cedia is the place to start, start at cedia.net and Samantha Ventura. Uh, I really appreciate you joining me today as the, as the uh, vice president of training and education at CD. You're doing a great job, but three and a half years, I've seen a big difference. So congratulations.
thank you very much. And again, thanks so much for having us or having me, I should say, and just having um, uh, us in mind when we're promoting the show and the conference. Thanks. Uh, thank you. And thanks for joining us. And of course, all the links of everything we've talked about today are in the description of this video cast. Uh, thanks for joining us, everyone. Have a great day.